It's time to do some artist marker colouring with the new Sweet Violet Builder Flower from Alta New. Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I am so excited every month with the new releases from Alta New with the new Builder Flower sets and their flowers never cease to amaze me and today the set that's been released is called Sweet Violet and it is just that I thought I'd create a teacup full of Sweet Violets today and do some colouring with my artist markers now I've already stamped out my images and this portion of the video is coloured in real time I just thought I'd share with you some real time colouring today I do have to speed it up though otherwise we would be here all day but what I'm just showing you is basically how I do my simple alcohol marker coloring so I've used the permanent black ink here which is compatible with the artist markers and I have started by coloring one of the leaves here I've actually already colored one of the flowers consider this my practice flower because my first images that I color they always seem to take me a lot longer because I'm kind of learning the image because I've never colored this flower before so I thought well I'll share the second flower with you and that'll go a little bit quicker but with the leaves what I've done is I and what I like to do often on my flowers as well is I actually lay down the lighter color coming with my shading and then blend it out with the lighter color again so I'm moving on to the violet now I kept the leaves very simple because you really aren't going to see very much of these leaves at all they're going to be tucked in my in behind my flowers of my teacup so I didn't want to waste energy perhaps you know it's important coloring energy you don't want to waste that <laughs> but anyway so I'm really trying to focus on my flowers here today I I have sort of drawn in my highlights first on the petals and what I did was actually did a Google search for some violet colors and I just love those violets that have that really deep dark center so what I did here was actually come in with the brown color to add the center on my violets and I think that worked really well with these purples so I lay down my lightest color coming with my shading and then just keep building the color out from there I do find that I get some if I get some harsh edges that I'm not very happy with I like to actually come back in and re-blend those edges and I'll actually do that sometimes with a circular motion with my marker the other thing I will do is actually wait because as the markers dry they will lighten up a little bit and sometimes I don't want to overwork the color so sometimes it's easier just to move on to a different area and come back and have a look because if you're not actually happy with an area by the time the cardstock dries and the paper settles the color settles and the the alcohol markers dry within the cardstock it can actually look quite different than when you're working on it especially when I've got such a vast difference of colors here I'm going from the really light to the dark brown and the deep purples so I did have to work fairly hard to blend these images out but I didn't rush so that's why I thought I'd show you some of the coloring in real time <laughs> because it takes time but it's what I do to relax and I really enjoy it and I especially enjoy coloring the alter new flowers and the artist markers uh, now that we've got even more colors to choose from make me happy and there's refills and you can buy replacement nibs so they are an investment but they will last you for such a long time so the teacup and the saucer that I've got today I've also stamped them in the permanent um, black ink and it's from a set called vintage teacup it's an older set and I do struggle when I'm coloring large areas like this I do take my time and I actually keep adding layers until I'm happy with my blend and if I need to I step away let it dry and then keep blending 
I use the coordinating die cuts to cut out my images and now I'm going to do a little subtle impression on my background. Now I've used this um, stencil before as a to do a debossing technique so I've got my big shot tab one a base plate my stencil my cardstock which is cut to the same size as my card front my silicon or a rubber mat you might have a tan rubber mat and a top plate and I've just run that through my die cutting machine to get an impression. You can do this with any of your stencils. You can even do it with a cover plate if you've got a cover plate, a cover die. I wasn't happy the first time with the impression. I didn't look like it was going to be deep enough. So I actually did run it back through with my metal shim, but you could easily just use another piece of cardstock to bulk it out a little bit and get a deeper impression. I've attached that to the front of my card and then I thought it'd be nice to add some rose gold um, embossing sort of lines. They, this actually comes with the vintage teacup set. These lines, what do you call them? Details. These details for the cup and saucer come within the stamp set and I stamped them with the embossing ink and heat embossed them with the rose gold which I thought looked really pretty on that blue green color and then I just used my tape runner foam dots to actually layer up my little floral teacup ready to go on the front of my card so this post today is part of a hop and you will have a chance to win if you visit my blog and also a chance to win if you visit the other blogs that are along the hop as well as the Alta new uh, card blog and I'll have everything linked at my at my blog at lostinpaper.com and I'll have that linked below in the description. I did add a sentiment, I bust that on roll with some rose gold as well. I had it in white and I didn't like it. It didn't show up enough. So it's on some real great cardstock. So don't forget to like this video if you like it and if you haven't already I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you back here real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.